Hello guys, um, welcome to my channel and let's talk a little about Battlefield 5 Open Beta and about Battlefield 5 and about course of or direction of Battlefield games. Um, makes me kind of uh, sad uh, all kind of I mean I'm not going to say lots of bad things about game it's fun and everything um, the fight is fun actually and it uh, asks you to have skills and it gives you opportunity to learn how to play but Generally, the game goes to the south, to the south, better to say, <clears throat> and it's uh, one map remind me like lots of of Black Ops play more than Battlefield. It's not, it wasn't more strategical or tactical. It was more like chaotic uh, on this uh, snow map. What's the name of this map? Uh, I don't remember it now. So... My impression from the beta was that it goes towards... Um, Call of Duty direction. Uh, and uh, with recent... Uh, blackout mode, Call of Duty goes towards... PUBG and PUBG goes towards I don't know where. So the the game is fun too. The game is fun to play. Sometimes it's annoying and sometimes uh, probably I make other people annoyed but it's a multiplayer. That's how it plays. So if you got annoyed in one match guys don't break your screens or mouses or computer. Don't throw them out. It's multiplayer. It's like in the life. Somebody succeeded, somebody not succeeding, somebody fails. But you know, one time you fail, the other time you succeed. So it's uh, always multiplayer like this. Except there is uh, people who is really good at it, of course. Um, the one thing I don't understand is um, upgrade system completely work like it was always work in a battlefield upgrade system always was work in battlefield um, let's take a upgrade system for the battle battlefield 5 So we have uh, two ways to go, your company and your armory. So I looked at it and I was like, okay, armory, so there's there will be all upgrades there, right? So I went to the armory and I see, oh, 300, 900, 660, what is that, by the way? Like, it's a skin, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's more like a skin thing, right? Um, and so I had like 3000 coins uh, or like whatever, like rubles or dollars, you know. Um, 3000 coins, we would say. And I went to weapon and I saw a sold, right? And this STG rifle, assault rifle, I start upgrading it. Like I, I go look, get visual. I got the sights for it. I got uh, I got this sight. I got that side. Side. And then I went to muzzles, right? I got uh, I got I didn't get this muzzle because that looks really bad. But. Uh, and it looks like it will like make uh, bullets spread out too much. So I got this muzzle. So it looks like it will keep uh, um, bullets like 
more precise. Why I went here? Because I thought that upgrade system is completely like is as in a Black Ops. I mean Black Ops in a battle in a Battlefield 4. I thought so. And so I went through the old stuff and I started uh, upgrading barrels, you know, like there is a, it's, you see it's a cosmetic upgrades. So I did a little bit upgrade on, on cosmetics, I went to, no, we just went through here. Magazine, right, and I upgraded a little bit, like different colors for magazine. I did receiver, upgraded receiver, cosmetics. Pre grips, and that's why I thought that uh, uh, grips is not only a pattern but also like kind of maybe. But I was wondering why there is no like um, any uh, why there is no any um, <sighs> start, starts for it. I was like, okay, maybe it's uh, better, so there is no stats, but they will uh, like add the stats later on, right? So I, I spent all my 3,000 rubles <laughs> or coins or dollars, whatever. And then, like, and then I was wondering, I'll get one more, right? And there is no, I don't need to spend any, so I like, got a bunch of this. But I guess it's for the purpose of making them different, right? So I spent all of the coins out of... I actually, I had probably 4,000 because it was 3,900. So 300 left, right? And I went back here. And I was like, okay, uh, I went through armory where all upgrades. But let's look at the company. What is that? And oh my goodness, there is another way to customize. I was like, what the heck? And you know what? There's real upgrades. And I was like, okay, uh, so why there is a split way to upgrades? And why one of them like clearly says armory, which is like brings you to the thought that there will be all upgrades, but there is no all up, all upgrades like so it's a two branches, one is visual and one is more like real upgrades and I and visual calls armory and real upgrades calls uh your company, which is like very confusing. And then I left a little bit coins and I was like upgraded quick aim and fast bullets. But guess what? For 3,900 coins I could upgrade at least one way. Like all the way through. So there is 1,800, uh, 2,650. 3250 so nearly like all the way to the end and you know what that affects performance of the weapon and so you know what I would be like more uh, successful on the battlefield I could get uh, like more points for my team and for myself and earn more uh, coins I guess right but then what kind of upgrades that? Quick aim, fast bullets. What that means fast bullets? I, w I would understand like if the tracers will, would be there instead of fast bullets. Like you know when you're shooting you can see where the bullets go, right? Like tracers, like in real warfare, right? Uh, more accurate hip file, why you cannot put like stock or something? Uh, quick deploy, why you can't like make it uh, like somehow the uh, weapon lighter? Like, and why all of that unrealistic upgrades there? 
we are going with the authenticity of the game towards the second world war I mean world war 2 right so how fast bullets are authentic towards towards uh, world war 2 I don't understand that and uh, <clears throat> Well, you send less vertical recoil, but why you can't make upgrades similar to Battlefield 4? Why? Is it the laziness? What is going on at the company? Uh, let's look very quick at the upgrades in the battlefield 4 how they were made so let's go back so uh, you come When you go to Battlefield 4, right? You come to the... You have home, you have multiplayer, right? Where you can join uh, multiplayer match. Uh, com you have campaign. And here you go, soldier. How clear is that? Okay, so you have weapons. All kind of bunch of weapons. And... Uh, I didn't open all of them, but I'll come to this in a second. So you have weapons. And so guess what? More you play with the weapon, right? More you open the upgrades for this weapon. So for this one, I didn't open it yet, because why? I need to have more kills with this weapon. So, and then I get like... Uh, different stuff for this let's look at this weapon here you go why I didn't open this upgrade yet or oh, because I need more kills for this weapon right so more you play with that weapon more upgrades you get for this weapon it's not the coins it's the time you spend opening this weapon it's, it looks like a call of duty upgrades which is fair upgrades because if you want to open uh, upgrades for the sniper rifle right sniper rifles you have to play with this more right and so in order to play with this more you need to be good at it because if you're not good at it you're not going to be able to get more like lots of kills with this and so you're not going to get uh, too many like upgrades for it, right? But it's fair upgrades. So my question would be, why you would why wouldn't why you wouldn't go this way? Why? It is clear and nice way to go fair way to go let's look at the I have kids I don't remember already what is, what is that about because I have not been at this game for a long time um, <clears throat> do we have like uh, kids vehicles mm, where can I upgrade my soldier I don't remember just a second let me remember it That's vehicles. Um, so I don't uh, just uh, let me find that out. <laughs>
So yes, um, so you come here to, in, once you went to the multiplayer, right? So you go to Assault Engineer Support Recon, and in one place, in one place, there's all upgrades. There is upgrades for the weapons like different at attachments you know all scopes uh, all accessories um, muzzles grips and uh, here's the painting ones which is lots of lots of lots of and guess what there would be like in, uh, you could do different tiers of upgrades. I mean, that could be one advice for upgrading the weapon. Leave some, I don't know, leave some really, really good painting on the, or like on the rifle, right? Or maybe do some really good attachment. But you need to reset the progress for the weapon and so this way once the person reset it and went through this again he can get some real good paint paint you know real good attachment which is which would be locked behind this tier and you can make like probably couple of tiers you know so that could be another way to improve upgrading system for the uh, for weapons in battle, Battlefield 5. So, but we instead... Oh, by the way, these uh, upgrades were like very... I think that's what all started from. Let's get to me main menu. This upgrade system, like, I hated some upgrades. Let's go look at it. So go to soldier <clears throat> weapons and let's look what I didn't open. This one. So in order to open it, I need to do get a kill with a sniper rifle in the round. Get a kill with this an assault rifle in the round. Get a kill with the LMG in the round. Get a kill in the... So, and this, all of them in one round. Why are you doing this? I mean, yes, challenge, but not to the point when the game getting boring. And you need to, instead of thinking how to flank the, like how to become a better player and flank the people and uh, 
do better aiming and think strategically and like do good footwork and everything like this you need to think oh I need to get a sniper kill or I need, then I need to switch a sniper kill in, into a assault rifle and then uh, I need to switch to an MLG rifle and then I need to use a grenade to kill the person but there is a more ridiculous was like uh, things what that means make a final choice like I don't even understand what is that make the final choice more to kill it's understandable that's okay I'll get them to be Ribbon around just to refer to the single. That's, uh, I remember there was one challenge. You need to, literally, you need to go to some place. You need to rise the wooden barrier and you need to put it down. You need to go, go to the other side of the map. Let me find it. Where is that? It was very, really strange. Really strange challenge. Yeah. Race all over the Gaspian border gate and around. And get the shot shotgun ribbon and around. I understand maybe it's not like difficult to do. But heck, why would I run somewhere and race and lower a Caspian border gate? That's why I didn't do this challenge. Why wouldn't I, they say like, oh, get this so many kills with this and this and that weapon, for instance, or maybe with all of them to get this gun? At least it will encourage me to use this and this and that and that. SPAS and UTS and DBVB and QBS and Saiga and HOG and M and MCS weapons to open that weapon instead of I will run and raise the Gaspian border gate. Why are you doing these ridiculous uh, challenges? Oh, but in uh, Battlefield 1, let me go to the Battlefield 1. So in the Battlefield 1, it even becomes much better than that. I mean much worse than that. Let's go and look what... Okay, so what I didn't talk about. Ah, that's... I need to go online to look at it. Okay. So let's go multiplayer. Let's find some empty map like that. Join. Wait while it slow it loads. I would probably like uh, wait for it. I mean, I would cut it off, but that's okay. Um, it. I hope it will go quick through the loading screen. Let's. Uh, and what is that like? I mean, the. Um, skin upgrading system at this game is not in, make me interested in this game like at all at all yes you're getting skins but it's better to it would be like make them to earn the skins particular skin like in the Call of Duty guys study how to do weapons upgrades better at the, at the Call of Duty because they literally do it much much better 
Okay, let's join it. So, oh my goodness. Okay. So, in order to open this one, I need to, ki to get 25 kills with the limpet charges. So, I need to literally grind my teeth, put something in between my teeth so I don't break them, right? Just take it limpet, take this limpet charge, and r run around like a dumb chicken with this limpet charge, throwing this around, just to complete uh, this uh, challenge. And again, you could like do this upgrade by like making the person like use the literally worst guns in the game bunch like you could you could use like or say like in order to uh, open this gun you need to use this this that and this and that and get so many kills with them to open this gun and then to open this gun you need to use this 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 and that to open this gun you can make it like you can make uh, tiers of upgrades for the guns but instead you making some dumb challenges well this is easy challenge that perform 50 vehicle repairs but again but again you see I, I didn't do too much vehicle repairs in the game that's fine that that is good that that's exactly what it would be nice for every weapon perform 50 kills with the bar and then perform 20 kills with the pistol why don't you do all of them like that why do like why you need to do some strange performance acts on the battlefield but Maybe I'm wrong. And that's fine too. You see, like you did some some good ideas there. So you can make like literally several like um several tiers in like and then you can uh make the tiers of we this weapon by itself. Like okay, saying like you you want to earn grip you need to get like so many kills then you will open the grip and then you want to earn better sides you need to do so many kills to get better sides and then like you see the game becomes more challenging in terms of like how I'm going to use this gun with the worst uh, sides to get better side and then you can make like once you upgrade it you have one more tier when you reset it and go, go through the grinding again don't make it grind like do 1000 kills do something in terms of like normal amount because once you make it too grindy people will not appreciate it but you can literally make it more fun instead of doing some challenges like yeah i did some limpet charges kills but my gosh my goodness it was not fun at all but maybe for some people it's fun uh who knows maybe i'm wrong right but i think that would be like it would be um more for the purpose if you want to to open better gun use the less better guns to open better gun instead of opening some guns using completely different task 
why we don't like make the task like oh like you need to jump from the roof 50 times to get this gun it's, you see it's like yes you can jump off the roof 50 but what it gives you what it gives you it gives you nothing in terms of become better at uh, aiming and thinking it's just you're running like a chicken with the limpid charge and trying to get the vehicles or like people with this and uh, let's go back to battlefield 5 And we're back to Battlefield 5. And after all of it, instead of improving, you guys degrading. You guys, your, your plane goes, instead of going to the space, it becomes uh, a drill which is goes underground it's very sad the best um, the best there is there is a company the best upgrading system i swear the best upgrading system of yours was in battlefield 4 and nobody wouldn't mind if you keep it. But you didn't keep it. You went completely like waking, like wake way. Complete. You ride. You running in the lucky chickens in the wrong direction, guys. You simplifying it. You simplifying it. What is that? It looks like a chart on the school board. It doesn't look anything good. And you buying it for money instead of making challenging? I use it in Battlefield 4. I use it to run shotgun with the hit aim making lots of people mad because it helped me to aim in precise I don't think I will be able to make such upgrades here unless there will be one more branch and there will be like oh there is a hit site over there but it's so limited you have no 
um, you have no like I don't I, I don't have here my own ideas how can I do it better for myself how can I modify weapon so it becomes better for me it's it's becomes only improving the stats of the weapon so it becomes literally like stronger and then I go to the different weapon and I'm making it stronger that's it but it has no creativity it doesn't for me it doesn't and by the way in the battlefield guys who was mad at me that I run hit um, scope on my shotguns they can use just laser tags or not laser tags the light on the guns and I'm and I was blind I couldn't use it you see you can make counter to the other ideas of the people it's all strategy it's all creativity what is that what is that you went south unfortunately it's too simplistic i don't think it will in, it will be interesting me too much it's too simplistic and how many weapons you going to make is it going to be less because battlefield 4 was so many weapons right and battlefield 1 there was less weapons and now what now what you see that's why i'm not going to pre-purchase and I'm probably not going to buy this game, unfortunately. Although the shots, the the the, the aiming and everything, the like how you shooting and you do have like skills there. It it's challenging and it's like good, but again, I'm shooting one with my where is that gun i'm shooting with my under upgraded stg right that's how it's named right stg is 44 at other person and i'm hitting him several times and he turns around and hit me one time or two times and i get killed and thinking myself okay maybe it's because because we have same weapon right it's probably because my weapon is not upgraded to the end it's not because that person other person was more creative and did something to to the weapon which tweak it to the point when he can aim better hit shoot faster and maybe blind me with the flashlight it's because he went through this school chart quicker than me because damn me i went first to customization instead of to the upgrades i mean it's right here i went first to the armory instead of your company It was dumb, right? But was it was me dumb, or you did some weird system which is not clear and uh, not make us being creative? 
So that's one reason, not reason, there is one big minus to this Battlefield 5. Big, huge disappointment. Big, huge disappointment. It's probably the most reason why I won't buy this game. Or at least I'll wait till it comes out and see what review will be for it. Or maybe I'll still buy it and I try to stream it because even I have, I have not too much spectators, I still like to stream. So, um, not too many, not too much, not too many. Another topic, another big disappointment. And now I probably will be very slow because I can trigger lots of people here. I have to be very slow. So guys, if somebody watching it, please be patient. I try to be very slow, very precise with my uh, wording here. How can I say better every nation did so much um, for the winning of war every nation every nation white people and African American people and Asian people they did some percentage to win this war but it's not all even I'm sorry to say it but the key word here is authenticity. That's you went for, not other people went for. Right? So if you claim that your game is, has authenticity in it, so try to keep it authentic. men or women. Women maybe put more um, more percentage into the winning this war, this war um, in the terms of being behind front lines and pro produce some um, shells, bullets because without it you can't fight but I'm sorry women didn't they did but not in the big percentage they want they weren't on the front lines some yes some were snipers yes and in, in Russia there there was lo lots of uh, women because on the front lines because why because Russia had lots of casualties to the point when the nation was on the brink of uh, being wiped out so guess what that was a kind of last reserve when the women started to be on the front lines
African Americans people did also put some percentage into this war. Or in e Egypt front, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm sorry, the Germans were um, nationalistics. They wouldn't have any African American troops because they were for the clean nation. That's a, that's what they fighting for. They, that's what they were fighting for for being only them dominate the world and guess what nation they were i think i will close on this one here because i don't want to trigger lots of people but that's the truth Also, I have no hope because I will, um, how can I say it? I, I'm originally Russian, right? And we're, when we're talking about big, huge battles, I have no hope for, to see, for instance, like Kursk battle. What is the Kursk battle? It's the biggest battle in the Second World War, where it's like tons of tanks, ton tons of like people died, and there was uh, tons of uh, tanks were from one side and another side. Let's go to website and look it up, and I understand. I understand that this game not made by Russians. And that that game made uh, by uh, Sweden company, right? So, yeah, I understand that you don't need to do it. But if you claiming that the game is has authenticity, then study history and at least give some variations in different battles. Include battles in Russia, include battles on Western Front, include best in, in battles in Pacific Asia, include battles in uh, uh, Egypt, and it, it, it last this game is world I mean this war was world war world war not Western war otherwise don't claim that this game is authentic don't and then there is no problem Don't claim it. Or, the, or if you claim it, go and study some history or go and ask different historians about it. Because I will show you the site which uh, has it. Which uh, like English historian talk about Kursk battle. Let, let me, let's go with me. Let's look at it. Let's go. I kind of like this music too. This music is is good. This is positive side of the game. But lots of sadness. And I understand that the world is not perfect and we have all attitudes towards everything. 
we have different attitudes, different points of view. And I've been in Russia, and I've been in America, and um, I've been in New Zealand, and every like everybody has their own attitude and their own, even their own history. their own point of view on the history. And everybody has their own truth to it. But don't we want to look at the history from different point of view, from different points of views, so it will be authentic and that's why I'm not against the women in the game. I'm not against African Americans in the game. I'm not against Asian uh, folks in the game. I hope I'm not uh, insensitive right now. Because they were in the war. They were participating in the war. Yes, I'm all for it. But don't make kind of view or look that all like on the front lines there was just women. Because that's not true. That's not true. Unfortunately, maybe. Good for the women too. And that's what I think most people are arguing about. But instead you go in opposite way and you what you you like uh, ban the phrase which says white men when the most of the people who fought this war were white men. That's just a strange way to go. If we fight, if we're fighting for social justice, right? Then don't make it social unjustable. Because it's always you have one side or other side in justice. You have to be somewhere so it is true. Or don't call it authentic. Just go and say, guys, we want to make this game fun. And that's it. And it has some elements of World War II. And then do whatever you want with that. You don't need to say it's authentic, it's good advertisement uh, step, but that doesn't make you, that doesn't bring you favor, that just, ju that just hurting you, that make all kind of people mad at you, and then you lose business. Of course you're not going to lose the business, like lots of people will play it, and that's good for you, but the best way for you probably would go and say it's not authentic, it just has some elements of World War II in it. And that's it, you have no problem. But let's go to the uh, some website and at least if you didn't know about Kurz Battle, you will, you will learn a little bit about it because truly uh, this is the biggest battle in the history. Uh, or World War Two, or in Russia uh, they call it. Uh, I don't know how to translate it. Отечественная война, civil war, civil war. No, not civil war. No, it, it's no, no, no. It's not, it's wrong name. Not civil war. Uh, battle of nation. Battle for the nation. 
I would say that's how I would translate it. Battle for the nation, for the survival of the nation. Because literally the question was, uh, on Eastern Front, the question was about either there will be nation or there will not be nation. Because the, the uh, Nazis, not Germans, because I would separate this word, uh, like Hitler tried to wipe out the nation. That's why he is a very negative person in the history. So uh, it's um, I would translate it as a battle for the nation, for the survival of nation. And you're totally missing it. You're totally missing it from the game. I, of course, I don't know what are you going to include it in DLC or not. Uh, I don't know, like maybe. But um, it's kind of uh, you make yourself blind In, when you like focusing on something and you like miss the whole picture, you become blind. You need to understand that historically blind historically morons that's not i'm not call, calling you morons but you become historically blind you need to see the whole picture especially if you call it authentic So, so, let's look at it. This is the first site. And you see this is like a English speaking site. So, 10 bloodiest battles of World War II. There's Monte Cassino. There's Battle of Bulge. And there is the Battle of Kursk. 275, 380,000 casualties. And there was many more, like in the Eastern Front. Kharkov. 300,000 casualties, not, not 200, 300, so it's 400,000 casualties, like, well, to be fair, 388,000 casualties. Battle of Kharkov, Louison, Battle of France, Narva, Battle of Moscow, which you could make all of it you you literally you can just go to this website and you just can make your game from it but
knowing how blind you can be, I don't even count on it. And it's maybe because I have my own, um, I don't know how you call it, I wouldn't say, um, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, maybe you went here and you're making this game. And it's good for you if you do. But if talking about biggest battles or world war, the which has most tank counts, that would be your first choice. Where is that? This battle right here. Battle of Kursk. The largest series of armored tank clashes of entire war. And the costliest single day of aerial conflict in history. And it's not Russian side. Um, let's look at the statistics, maybe. If I can find it right now. So we had the Soviet had five thousand tanks and the Germans had three thousand panzers. Three thousand Soviet aircraft and two thousand five hundred aircraft. And that's because of women behind the front lines staying at their um, factories and producing all of it. That's why Soviet could bring more tanks and aircraft into the battle. We literally, uh, the Soviet literally overpowered German at this point because of the production. Because of women. Because they played very big part in the war. Huge part in the war. Some of them were on the front lines. But it wasn't many of them. So, I don't know if this uh, video will make any views, but um, it would be nice if you make the game historically, if you claim that you make the game historically accurate, that you actually make this game historically accurate. So we'll, there will not be any um, rage at you. So you don't need to ban certain phrases in your game. So hire some historians. Hire them so they can tell you there was this battle, there was this battle, there was this battle. In Egypt you can use these soldiers in Eastern Front you can use these nations, in Western Front you can use these nations. And everybody will be happy. Everybody will be happy. You will be the best company in the world.
in the world in the world just think about it thank you for being with me that's me I guess um, probably I missed something I hopefully I didn't miss something uh, but um, that's my point of view on the uh, problem with this game and uh, why it goes like downstairs or downwards and by the way oh yes I missed something I missed something let's look at let's look why the, why there is one more thing one more reason why I probably will not buy this game anymore. probably I'm not, I'm not sure the first game I bought was like long time ago it was Battlefield 3 I enjoyed it I liked it as other multiplayer games sometimes I raged at it, sometimes I had good games I, I liked it, I liked it I played 112 hours, that's not too much but it's because I bought it like at, at the end of its life cycle then I bought Battlefield 4 I loved it, upgrade system like uh, the way it's played the way it, the way I can customize my soldiers the challenge against other people it, it, looks, like, it looks like more competition I'm a very competitive person it looks like competition and I loved it I played 352 hours which is huge for me absolutely huge because I like to compete then Hardline came. I hated it. You can see. I played only two hours. I spent sixty dollars. I spent sixty dollars for two hours. Sixty freaking dollars for two hours. Just think about it. Sixty dollars for two hours. Okay, but my hope didn't go down there. Then we have, I think it was Battlefront. Look at that. I played your demo, I played demo, and I enjoyed it. But somehow, you screwed it. You, on the opening of this game, you screwed it. There was lots of unfair stuff there was like the gameplay was went to the south far away I spent only twenty nine dollars twenty nine hours for sixty bucks again how about Battlefront 2? Oh, sixty eight hours and it's only because I probably played thirty hours only because you fixed it when it's late, when everybody went out, you fixed it. But it's late to play, nobody is there. There is some people, but generally there is no, no more there. There is no people, there is only people left who really grinding for it. My game in this game my matches in this game are nightmare I'm getting killed right and left I have no noobs to uh, prey on because I'm myself not bad player and I only like after 10 hours like I started like to uh, get get Hanon on it And Battlefield 1, I enjoyed 360 hours. I, I like it, no doubt. I love it. 
it's a good game. Also, your uh, advancement system is suck big time. Skin system, these packs, oh my gosh, this is nightmare. You you have you selling battle packs for two dollars, and this battle pack give you only one skin which can be repetitive. It's crazy. It's crazy. You spending two bucks on one skin. Or you spending like one hour of the game for one skin. I have bunch of skins not open. I'm not even interested in it. I'm not e even not not even interested in it. No way I'm interested in it. Because it's too grindy. I don't know how many hours of my life I need to spend. I probably need to spend all my life to open all the skins there. I literally need to drop my work to quit uh, the school, uh, I mean university, my, f my second bachelor. And I only need to do that to get the, and I, I bet I still not get any, every skin. It's crazy. It's crazy. So, what I would expect for Battlefield 5? Nothing good. Nothing good. Because statistically, your best game was long time ago, and the name of it is Battlefield 4. This is your best. This is your, this is your peak. This is your best game, and instead of keeping it, you went downwards. You went downwards towards the people. You went downwards towards the game itself, and unfortunately, it goes bad. Oh, I forgot to switch on this. So let's look um, So let's look at the um, statistics for the Kursk battle. So if we will go to the site with the article 10 bloodiest battles you will see lots like 10 battles which one of them blood is like uh, which one of them is casino monte casino battle of bulge and here we go battle of kursk A decisive victory. Decisive victory. In the Eastern Front for the Soviet Union was Battle of Kursk.
the largest series of armored tanks, tank clashes of the entire war. And the costliest single day of aerial conflict in history, in history. And this is dot org. It's not dot true. It's not Russian site. It's uh, dot org. And Eastern Front, Battle of Kharkov. And there is, yes, there was many other battles. Battle for Moscow, Battle for Berlin, Stalingrad, probably the also most bloodiest battle in the history. But guess what? I have no... The hope is not right word. The hope is not right word. Uh, I have... I am pretty sure that these battles will not be in your game. Battle of France. on the Western Front. Luzon. I'm pretty sure these battles will not be there. Bulge. Maybe I'm wrong. I will be happy if each of these battles will be in your game, which is probably pivotal for the history, and it would be nice if, as an authentic game to World War II history, you would turn in. And there was different nations in the Eastern Front. There was different nations in the Western Front. There was different nations in the Pacific Asia Front, if it's right, if it sounds right. And it, it was different nations in uh, South, I mean South Africa, Egypt, right? I am very dumb in geography. But in Egypt, different nations in Egypt. But let's talk about Kursk. Why would why this battle would be so important to be included in the game? You see, if we look at the Stalingrad battle, right? Where is the Stalingrad battle? Battle of Stalingrad. 1,250,000 or 1,800,000 casualties against or 390,000 casualties. You would ask me why. But that's because largest series of armored tank cash clashes. Let's look at statistics for it. It's dot com, right? Oh no, that's not the one. This one. That's dot com, right? 
historyheat.com. So how many tongues there were? Five thousand against three thousand. And remember, this battle was how many days? Not not months. How many days? From fifth of July to twenty third August. Just imagine that in this period five thousand tanks and three thousand tanks one million six hundred and seven hundred eighty thousand three thousand and two thousand five hundred planes it would be very 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 important if your game is authentic to put this exact battle in the main game you you cannot you cannot avoid it you cannot you cannot deny you cannot deny it there is like no reason for denial of it So really my suggestion would be is to hire very good solid historian so he can point out to you the main battle battles battle, battles in the World War II history. So when we, you claim that it's historically accurate game you don't jump into the dirty 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 um, how you call it water I forgot the name But this game was won. Why the why we had like more tanks against Germans? Because of the women. Because of the women who was behind front lines doing production of it. Old people and women were producing all of it working on the factories, sometimes not sleeping. People were dying on the factories. Dying, dying, dying. They were dying. Not, not just like falling, but dying of exhaustion, producing all of that so we could have advantage. I mean, Soviet army could have advantage. And yes, so the women pl were playing the most important part in the World War II. And every nation on Eastern Front, on Western Front, Pacific Asia Front, Egypt Front, every nation had their part in it. Every nation. But don't make the history hire good historian so it will be true to the history, so your game will be true to the history. 
and it won't be just your imagination running wild. Because, guess what? Not Germany, but fascists, right? Nazis. They were fighting for their... So that their nation can dominate. And at the end of the war, they can wipe out every other nation of the of the planet. So guess what? In their ranks there was no African Americans because they were Nazis. I highly doubt that I'm wrong about it. I highly doubt about it. And so, uh, women, they were m helping and playing the most important part behind the front lines. There were some women who were the snipers in Soviet army, and there were some women who was fighting on the front lines because the nation was on the brink of wipeout. Because it, there is no, after Blitzkrieg, there was huge, huge. Uh, losses, huge losses, like by millions in one day, because of all of the tactics of um, surroundings armies, like they go and go around the armies and they caught them and then they methodically starting to wipe out the one million people. Because when you got shot from each and every side, there is no chances for you. And that was the advantage of German army. And so the Russian uh, nation was on the brink of being destroyed. And so that's why some women were on the front lines. And some women were like, on on the like as the snipers, but not all of them. It it would be ridiculous to think if there is like all of the women was there, or even half of the army. So open your eyes. I mean, yes, you can close your minds. You can uh, you can uh, be in your shell. Close yourself in this shell, right? And just say to you, no, 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 you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on. No, but every people who saying this to you are right. History, right? Or if you want to make the game like you want, then don't claim it's historically accurate. Because this is a lie. This is misleading the your audience. Audience. Misleading your uh, spectators, your gamers. It's a lie. One more thing I wanted to talk about and that's how your game went downwards. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. 
I started like I bought first game of yours is was Battlefield 3. I bought it at the end of the uh, lifespan, and uh, I liked it. Let's remove that. I like that. And I only was on time to play 112 hours because I bought it at the end of a life cycle. But still, $60 spent and the time was spent, enjoyed it. Awesome. Then Battlefield 4 went out. And that is your best, your best, absolutely the best game. The upgrading system, the achievement, matches, it's a nearly perfect game. And look, I spent 352 hours. And some people probably spent much more hours. Oh my. Then Hardline came. I don't want to even mention about it. You know why? Because of that. Absolutely hate this game. Absolutely cannot stand it. Two hours. Two hours. And then down spiral. 29 hours. Cannot stand this game. And I played your this game. I played this game. Demo. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Competitive. Matches competitive. That's what bring me to multiplayer because I like to compete. But when your main game went out, it was absolutely ridiculous. Unfair advantages. There was some unfair advantages. Grenade spam. You run and run, run you got killed. No, you just started and run, got killed. Because of grenade spam. Absolutely hated it. Battlefront 2. Oh look, 68 hours. Why? Why is only 68 hours? Because of the same problem as your Battlefield 1. You didn't go anywhere. You, you, you made DLC available for every player. That's true. Awesome step. But other than that, you went nowhere. And even made it worse. But then you fixed it because I had uh, I, I I had thirty hours, right? And you fixed it. You fixed the game. But there is nobody playing anymore this game. Sometimes, sometimes you can catch the people who is uh, absolutely best at this game because the grinding. And so when you jump into this multiplayer. It, it is a nightmare to play against these people because they already have advanced everything, they grind it, they have their own mechanics of playing it, and although I'm not the worst player in the multiplayer, I, I still struggle big time because I have no upgrades. I have uh, no view of this and maps. Maps are stream 
lined. It's a straight lane. Wide, but a straight, straight lane. It's absolutely strange. It's not battlefield. It's not battlefront. It's something else. I don't know what is that. It's not. I, I refuse. I, I don't believe it. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe how your maps in this game were made streamlined. Absolutely simple maps. Absolutely simple. It's not battlefront or not battlefield. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Battlefield 1, I liked it. I, I truly lo love it, except this upgrade system. 360 hours. Huge for me. Huge number to play it. Like, I can... I don't know where this hours went. I don't know how much hours I could spend on it. So many hours. I love the game too. Competitive. You have your own tactics. It's uh, it's not it's not Call of Duty here. It's you need to think strategically. You need to flank. You need to think. You need to move with the other players. You need to work with your team in order to be able to succeed. It's it has a thought. The maps are gorgeous. Maps are very good. I like them. This point B where is like one armored person always spawns. If you don't keep it, you lose it. I, I don't remember the name of the map. But battle, battle packs, oh my god, battle packs, what is that? Two dollars for one skin. Two dollars for one skin or maybe it's two hours one hour of gameplay for one skin are you kidding me at least call of duty had three items in it three items and they're different there is a skin sometimes there is could be a weapon Battlefield, oh my goodness, Black Ops 4, right? There could be some dumb upgrades too. I, I hate this uh, system too in Call of Duty Black, Black Ops 4 Battle Packs. Absolutely no fun of it. But this? What is that? It's a cash grab. For one skin, two dollars. Absolutely, Im upgrades here for the weapons. Absolutely uninterested. I'm absolutely uninterested in these upgrades. I'm only interested in the gameplay itself. I don't even want to open battle packs. And maybe it's all my opinion, maybe all, all of that said in my video, maybe only my opinion. But I'm pretty sure that nobody is fan of these battle packs. And the game, when it went first, it was random chances to get battle packs? Random chances to get battle packs? Are you kidding me? And so all all after all of that history when you went good, you went best, you went real bad. You screwed it, I mean screwed it here, screwed it more and then fixed it and then went normal and screwed it upgrades. What should I think about Battlefield 5? Should I have a hope for it? That you will not screw it? 
after seeing this upgrade system for that weapon, which absolutely reminds me Battlefront 2, which was screwed. You see, I don't even play it anymore. I don't want to, I don't even want to upgrade it. Which is okay because I don't want to lose my time. But what is that? Why are you losing it, guys? Absolutely sad. Absolutely sad. But of course it's only my opinion and I'm entitled to it, I guess. But I'm pretty sure that most of the points which I brought today is legitimate. And if somebody get triggered, say to me what I'm wrong with, if I'm wrong with. And let's discuss it as a community and maybe for this game it will be uh, very um, we will not be able to help to this game because I'm pretty much sure the system all set up for the Battlefield 5 is already set up and it's late to change anything but maybe as a community we can help DICE or like EA to build better next game? I don't know because there is so many people screaming to the their ear that guys you're doing it wrong what you doing what you doing where you going I understand social justice when somebody got like like get like unjustified treatment but you have to make if you claim it it's historically accurate you need to make it historically accurate or otherwise don't make it historically don't tell it's a historically accurate just say we're doing the game which is which has some elements of history in it because instead of advertisement you're doing it anti-advertisement for the most of the community Anyway, if you guys not agree with me for some reason, just do comment. If you absolutely hate what I said, dislike this video. If you like if you agree with me, like this video. But let's not fight, but let's think and open the eyes and do what we claim to do. Because if I claim to do something and I'm di going different direction, that's not the way you should do it. That's not. Because what? Because if you're drunk and you're driving the car but saying to the cop that you are not drunk, the policeman still sees you drunk. And you get DUI. 
it doesn't matter how much you you saying that you're not drunk you can ta take that no blood blood test or sobriety test on the on the place there and you will be convicted of being drunk despite you saying that you are not drunk and despite you saying that you not get out of the car they will drag you drag you out and will do test and they show you that you are drunk so dice EA you are drunk right now and you going completely wrong direction you need to open your eyes and do something about it otherwise the claims you are doing are not justified simply not justified I think it's enough I think my I brought my point to the view and I hope that my reasons make sense and my views although they they probably will not make happy some people but at least at least I brought my point of view on the problem and believe me the battlefield game as a historical game goes wrong direction I know that for some people it will hurt some people some feelings of people but that's how the history was that's how it was you cannot remake the history you cannot redo it you, we don't have the time machine where we can put a bunch of women and send them to the front lines that's how it was and besides the women did huge part in the world war two they did but they had different role somebody needed to do what they did and they sacrificed lots of to win the war but they had different war role in this world war two and that's the truth Anyway, like, dislike, comment, agree, disagree, argue, but don't fight. Be civil. Bye, guys.